Our first guest is a Tony and Emmy Award winner and one of the most hilarious people I know. Please welcome back to the show the always entertaining Martin Short. Sorry, I didn't hear. And I was here a year ago, <laughs> and you were, you know, a hit. But now, it's nuts. It's good. I, listen, uh, yes. uh, 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 thank you very much. I'm, and I'm having, the, the best part of it is I, I love coming to work every day. And so it's, it's, well, it shows, it's the it greatest shows. thing. I mean, it clearly yeah, is, you're it. having a ride. Yeah. And I'm honest with the people. I had nothing to say today, and I told them I had nothing to say today. Oh, no, we saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I mean, um, that's what you do very well. You yeah. fill nothingness with a kind of a pizzazz mm -hmm. that leaves you pretty empty. But, <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of it all, you, you then you don't know what you've seen. Yeah. And I think that's your strength. <laughs> that's your, yeah. No, it is. It, it's an amazing ability. Oh, you're hilarious. Not since the late Al Jolson. <laughs> and even then. <laughs> and even then. Yeah. <laughs> I can just Look listen to you. Are. Look at the little bracelets. Hey, listen. Yeah, yeah. I'll wear the little uh, Lance Armstrong bracelet. That's what it is. Oh. That's what it is. Um, you are so, you are so very, very funny. And so now, do you? Because I was talking about Aaron. What an amazing guy he is. Have you met him yet? I just That's, met him backstage. Oh. You know, this is like the, you, you know, I, when you meet someone that brave, you don't even know what to say. You get a little tongue tied. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's startling, and he's. Kind of saying to me, gee, I, uh, I just want to tell you, I love Three Amigos, and yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> you're a hero. Yeah, you are. You are just. Uh... And what an amazing outlook. And do you feel because I, I, I feel like uh, most funny people, there are people that have their dark sides, but do you have a thing you get up and you go, uh, you take, you know, uh, notice of of what your life is? Are you? Well, first of all, <clears throat> I'm on a strong prescription, <laughs> and <laughs> so that helps. You know, when you're taking a doll in the morning and a doll at night and then a big tumbler of scotch in the mid-afternoon. Well, it's okay. <laughs> but you know what I've done? I've all, I figured out about, about 20 years ago, I, this is all true, I, I, I realized that if you were in show business, um, you can let it overtake you. I guess any career, but particularly show business because it's so personal. Mm -hmm. So I devised a, a, a seven-category plan that I do every Monday morning, and I treat it like I'm, you know, uh, you know, the kind of the president of my own life, which is true. And so category one, no, it's true. And so category, and, and the idea is that you could be like not working for two years, but if the, all the other categories are doing well, then, you're, then your life is a success as uh -huh. opposed to your career is in the dumper. Right, yeah. and, and what are the categories? What do well, you category one is self. Mm -hmm. You know, yourself, how do you feel, you, how are you, you know, what, mm -hmm. what, do you need a doctor's appointment, what is, how's your blood flowing, you know, I stand in the morning and I look naked in the mirror and I see the, the vessel that harbors my soul and, <laughs> and then I put on glasses and I realize that it's a rough looking vessel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think that, you know, as long as you can wake up and, and you can feel on top of the world, but if you have like, you know, I don't know, non-specific urethritis or some illness, you're not gonna feel great. great. It's, it's a guy thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and category two is your, um, 
is your, you know, your family, your, your wife or husband and kids. I know you have cats. Yeah. Right, she has about 600 cats. No. No, you have a lot of cats. Three. Though. No. Yeah. I was at her, no, Siegfried sneezes when he's in your house. No. You know that. <laughs> I counted, I slept at her house once, I counted 64, <laughs> yes I did. In my house. Yes I did, no. for the joke, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, in the morning it's a 20 minute wait just to use the box. <laughs> See, was it worth it? It was, I knew you'd get there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Category three is, is uh -huh. your own family, uh -huh. uh, your original family, your brothers, your sisters, your parents. And I think that if you're an actor, you can extend it to people who have played your parents. Mm -hmm. You know? Like sometimes I'll phone up Brian Dennehy and say, Hi, Papa. And then he hangs up quickly because he's a bit scared. Um, category four is your friends. Uh -huh. You know, you keep up in your friends, you know, or as someone once said, without friends, you've got a gaping hole in your Thursday lineup. And uh, <laughs> five. Five is money mm -hmm. because, you know, without money, it's a drag, and you uh, want to make sure you have enough money because mm -hmm. you have to go back to your old first love shoplifting, which is... <laughs> <laughs> and category six is um, uh, your career. Or as it says in my answering service, I'll take it. <laughs> 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 but, these, but I think there's, it's, it's a very kind of valid way to monitor you know, how successful, so that if one thing's going under, you can, it's like school. You can say, well, I'm failing that subject, but... So I do it mm -hmm. every Monday morning to keep sane. That's great. Yeah. I think that's really important. It is important. Yeah, and I think it's probably why you've had a, a long, successful marriage, too. 24 years, so... 24 uh, years, yes. Yeah, that's... Because you're grounded. Hey, listen. And the secret is never, never argue in front of the attorneys. That's what I've realized. Oh, is that yeah. what it is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back. Right after. Beautiful. We're back. We're back with Steve Martin. We're back with Martin Short. Uh, that, that character, that's a clip from the, the new movie, uh, the Jiminy Glick. Jiminy uh, Glick in Lollywood. Lala, Lollywood. Lollywood. And when does it... Uh, <laughs> and Jiminy Glick in Lollywood. Yeah. You see, I think you go, Jiminy Glick in Lollywood. Yeah. You can't be afraid to go right down. No. Uh, yeah. And Jiminy Glick never is. Jiminy <laughs> Glick has so many different octaves when he speaks. Well, he gets very carried away and he gets very intense. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not crack up when you do that character? I mean, do you, I, ne I was watching you watch yourself. It's like, don't you realize how hilarious that is? And don't you laugh? I don't, you know, it's improvised. So, so you kind of don't even know what you're saying. It's, it's just, but you know, his sensibility, the, the, the sensibility of his mind makes me laugh. Yeah. Like if he was interviewing um, Bill Clinton, he wouldn't ask about Monica Lewinsky. He'd say, should Suzanne Plachette work more, sir? That's what, would, that's, <laughs> that's what would interest him. I, I interviewed, um, Mel Brooks, and I said, what's your big beef with the Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> and Mel said, this is the craziest interview I've ever done in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but Jimmy Click and uh, comes out in uh, the new year, and it's, uh, it's, it's awfully funny, I think. Uh, Steve Martin and uh, Kurt people. Russell, a lot of people in it. But Jan Hooks plays my wife, genius. Yeah. Elizabeth Perkins, Jenny Garofalo. Oh. It's going to be hilarious. Well, it you know, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and I hilarious. hope you all come. All right, listen, I, I, I love when you're here. I, well, I love being here because I get a beautiful candle mm -hmm. that I give to, I give to Juanita. Housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> you have the she underwear. She loves it. You have the underwear, you have the robe. I didn't get any robe. Yes, you did. Uh, well, then, you Can know we what? Can we stop giving the Can robes? Can I tell you robes something? Is... The staff stole the robe. Well, then they... <laughs> robe and the underwear. You don't just have a candle. Don't be... <laughs> well, I, There's all kinds of stuff back there If they for can't you. get a scooter or a car, I'm surprised Listen. I'm getting a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Look for Jiminy Glick and Lollywood in theaters early next year. Aaron Ralston joins us after this. Don't go away. It's an amazing story. Yeah.